minimum wage is not for you while minimum wage by design is supposed to have an impact on subsequent salary bands for higher skills we need to create the kind of high paying job we look at me now there is a sense that this is a good place it has full of potential this is malaysia is at the sweet spot of everything especially when it comes to semiconductor I agree with uh, YB, which why for RMT team, all of us has prepared, focusing on how can we produce talent, good talent for the semiconductor industry. I believe with this training program, it's much appreciated, especially to train the lecturers for our students, as the demands and also the needs of technology is very fast. I'm in the middle of all this talent war. I've seen the, the evolution of the generations. We can't fix tomorrow's problem by actions today. It has to be long term. These graduates, they are engineering or science related. I believe when they go into a company, the company has the duty to train them up. After they finish complete SGM, they are from a science stream. We pick them up. We do an assessment. Based on the assessment, we pick them up. We put them on a six months of training, intense training for residential program. Followed by which we put them on, a, on the job training. So the second six months, they are paid an intensive training. The demand for such engineers will continue to grow. I think the estimated shortfall at an early estimate of about 6 60,000 engineers that we require. The best way to create high paying jobs is to get more people to become IC design engineers and to get involved in semiconductor. And while we keep saying about finding the talent, building the right talent, it takes everyone to contribute towards that.